Welcome to Calvary Christian Center, real ministry for real life, for real people like you and me. Hello, my name is Wayne Mitchell. I'd like to take this time to say thank you for joining us here at Calvary Christian Center. In observance of Labor Day on September 3rd, our church office will be closed. Safe travels to each and everyone that may be traveling during this holiday. Our back to school jam on August 26th, immediately following the 10 a.m. service. We will have food, games, and activities held in place. Right now, we are collecting book bags and school supplies. You can drop these items off in the Welcome Center. Hello, men. It's that time, our 10th year anniversary of the Triad Men's Conference. This year, we'll be going to Ridgecrest, up in the mountains. The date's October 19th through the 21st. Cost $250 per man, $150 for youth. This is our time to fellowship together, to come together to hear what it is that God has in store for us. Can't wait, looking forward to it. If you'd like to sign up, please see at the rear of the church, sign up there, or you can go online to do so. Looking forward to seeing your face, my brothers. Mark your calendars for September the 29th. The Community Baptism Celebration is back. This year is going to be held downtown at LeBauer Park. Last year, we had about 50 people being baptized. That's 50 people pronouncing their public profession of their faith. We have multiple churches coming together to live out what Ephesians 4, 5 looks like. That's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. If you or someone you know have a desire to be baptized, make sure you stay tuned for more details. Good morning and welcome to Calvary. Hey, I'm on the Life Group Hall and I'm telling you about something that's exciting that's coming to Calvary in January 2019. We're going to start a Divorce Care Life Group that will happen every Sunday starting January 2019. In addition to that, we're going to start some community life groups that will happen once a month in the community, whether that's in a library or a recreation center or maybe in your home. If you're interested in being a divorce care facilitator on Sunday mornings, please call the church or email us and let us know. If you're interested in being a community life group facilitator let us know we want you on our team thanks for coming to Calvary and thanks for being involved in life groups why should people vote because people want their voice to be heard voting is one of the most important rights a citizen has about 150 million American citizens are qualified to vote unfortunately many don't are you registered to vote today if not, we have a voter's registration table in the lobby. Get registered to vote today. For any other announcements, please see the back of our bulletin or our website or join us on social media. Thank you. I really dry those hands through. Oh, hey everyone. Man, holding this back brings back so many memories. I used to eat, sleep, and play baseball. But one day I had to give that dream up of playing professional ball. And you know why? Because I had to go into the workforce. But after about five years of working, I had that itch and I wanted to go back and play professional baseball. And so I tried out for three professional teams and each time I made it to the final cut, and the scouts would tell me, hey son, you're 25 years old and we have 17 and 18 year olds who have the same skill sets as you. And so we're going to invest in them. Man, that was a hard pill to swallow, but it humbled me and allowed me to see it was time to let that dream go. Proverbs 16, 19 states, Better to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. And I wasn't too proud to accept their constructive criticism. And so I let that go. Is there something today that you need to let go? Something you've been pursuing for a long time, but that season has passed. Let it go. The word of the week is let go. See you next time.
This concludes this week's highlights. Please welcome our pastor, Vince Harrison.